Well, first of all, good to have you back on the mic and have a, have a chat with you. I'm pretty sure it was good to be out playing on Tuesday night for you as well. I know the result went against the team, but for you on a personal note, good to be back. Yeah, obviously, personally for me, I've not played as much as I want to over the last, say, few months. So it was, I was buzzing to get back on the pitch and hopefully I've took my chance. And it was the, the right wing back role, the right back role, whatever way you want to call it, when you, whichever system you're, you're employing. But you've had a bit of a taste of that in certain games, haven't you? Yeah, obviously, um, before I went on loan, I was playing obviously in the Czech trade. I think Wolves played right wing back a couple of other games as well. So I, it's not it's not completely unfamiliar. Obviously, I played more in midfield, but I'm comfortable going into that um, position whenever I'm needed there. You're not a young boy anymore. I've just noticed you just turned 23. So, <coughs> is it time now for Josh Lundstrom? Is, it, is, is this your time? Um, well, it's, it's getting towards that stage, isn't it, where I've, I've got to prove that um, I'm worthy of a, a, a starting spot on a regular basis. I'm not, it's not like three years ago when you were just coming up. I've had, say, four or five years of being a pro now, so I've got to try and make my mark, yeah. It's, it's important, isn't it, that you, you get those league appearances against your name. That, that's what, it's, what everybody looks at at the end of the career. Yeah, of course, it's... It's about having a run of games as well, not just having one game here and there. You want to get yourself in the team so you're playing pretty much every week and then you can obviously build your performances from there. It's been stop-start for you, of course. You've had that injury, it was a bad injury, and then you've had a short spell out on low and then you haven't been able just to hold down that place for whatever reason the managers thought why. How frustrating has that been for you? Yeah, of course. It's any footballer I can tell you just, just, just want to be playing, so it's really frustrating the the only thing you can do really is just to make sure you, every day you tra you're training properly so that when your chance does come, then you're ready to take it. Has it been hard to remain positive or is that something that, you, that you've got in your locker, that you, you are a positive person? I, I, am, I am fairly positive, yeah, but of course when, you, when you're not playing and you're seeing the, the team, obviously at the moment we're struggling a bit as well, you, any player thinks, oh, I, I can do better, but yeah, you, you've just got to keep going, as I say, so when you get your chance, you... You perform. You said, you know, there it's a real tough season for for everybody. Is that making it even harder for for you and one or two of the other lads who are trying to establish themselves in the team? Um, I think yeah and no because obviously when you come in, it can be a little bit more difficult. Obviously, the team in the, in the position you're going to be, you might be lacking a bit of confidence. It's probably easier coming into a team, say in previous years, where we've been up, like up the top of League Two and pushing. Top half, top half of League One, so it can be more difficult, but at the same time, obviously, if you're not playing, you're getting more chances because if we're not winning games, that means certain players aren't performing, so you've got to be ready to take that chance. And obviously, you talk about the chances, and you mentioned, you know, 12 months ago and two years ago, there was a real good nucleus of, of the team and players, but they've all moved up to the Championship, and that's making room for what crew do, give their own players their chance. To, to establish themselves in the first team, again, the pressure is on, but you've, you've got to take that opportunity. They don't, they don't come all the time, do they? No, exactly. So when it, whenever you get your chance, you, you've got you've got to make sure you grab it. Obviously, you've seen the path that obviously Pixie, Kirky, Wintel, they're all playing in the Championship now at Owen as well. So the, if you perform, we know that the path the pathway's there for us to to push up the leagues. But you just, you've got to make sure you perform here, because if you don't perform here, then you're not going to make that step. You've got to play like your teammates every 90 minutes, focus on the game. The, the league table doesn't look good at all, but you've got to put that behind you. But supporters, obviously, unfortunately, they're making their noises heard. <coughs> you understand that, but again, can that spur you on? Well, it's got to spur us on. We're in the position now where we've, we've, we've got to start winning games and there's no point there's drawing games on. is isn't going to be good enough for us. We've got to start picking up three points. and. We can understand the frustrations from the supporters. Obviously, they support the club. They've been brilliant this season. Travel, travelling away, the away following has been unbelievable. So, we, we're trying our best. And I hope. Well, the other night we was. I think it was probably the fans would probably agree it was a, one of our better performances in recent weeks. And we've got to make sure we keep that level up, not just for 45 minutes, but for 90 minutes for every game now coming up to the next for the end of the season. The scenario is that you perform well and you get a result, but that's not always easy. But I suppose now what you would do is just swap it for 12 good results between now and the end of the season. And don't worry about performance, you just get wins. Yeah, of course. We, we, we'd be more than happy to play um, terrible for the re remainder of the games and pick up three points every single one. But 
footballs that's how football works sometimes you don't sometimes you get what you deserve and sometimes you don't but we've just got to keep giving 100 percent every game and hopefully the ball stop fall, start falling for as you see the other night there's two uh, set pieces we've hit the bar it's bounced down they've they've put it in that, and, that, and that's the game so we've just got to try and not not rely on luck and make it happen for ourselves it's whetted your appetite to be back, I think. I can feel that, how, you, how you're coming out and expressing your, your, your views that you're back in that first team settle. I just imagine the target is now, you know, to try and help the team, of course, but for you on a personal note, is to, to cement a place. Yeah, of course. I'm, I'm, I've been desperate to, to get on and help the team, so as long as I'm doing that, then I'm helping myself on a personal note as well. So, yeah, I'm raring to go.